The longer we take prospecting a piece of ground that doesn't have gold on it, you know, it costs money, it costs valuable time. So it's really imperative that we get in and get out quickly. If we don't innovate, we're not going to have that edge. So I've got an idea, build a portable prospecting plant. If I get a good lead, we'll be able to move in quickly and get the job done. And if there's gold, we can do a proper prospect. So I'm going to go meet with Juan. I've been with Juan before where we're in trouble and we need to get something done immediately. And Juan's the guy. The portable plant will be built onto a 20-foot trailer. You know, it looks like a really big trailer right now, but it's not. We got to make sure that we maximize uh, our area that we have there and use it wisely. Dave's plan is to build a movable wash plant capable of completing a yard bulk sample in just six minutes, all contained within the footprint of the trailer. A 10-foot hopper-mounted conveyor will feed pay into a 10-foot trunk, allowing a detachable tailings conveyor to hang out over the back, while a 10-foot removable sluice rod catches the gold. Honestly, Dave, we need more help. What about your crew? Is there anybody that, well, that we can bring out here to help us? We're against the timeline. No, you're right. We're not going to make it. There's got to be somebody. I'll make a couple phone calls. With only five days until his next prospect, Dave might not make it on time. If I don't get help, there's no way I'm going to meet the timeline. With everything so tight and the clock ticking, it's rapidly becoming clear Dave needs more hands on deck or his innovative wash plant on wheels won't be the clever solution he expected. It's so competitive right now, people after this land, that I could be missing out on deals. To turn his design into a reality, he calls in an old trusted teammate. I need some help so that we can get out of here, start prospecting. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Shop has been busy. Hey, you found us. They did, out in the middle of nowhere. We need some help. Oh, man. man. How you doing? Good, how you doing, man? Good, real good. Man, it's good to see you, man. See you, brother. Crew mechanic Nathan Clark is here to get Dave build back on track. What do you think of our trailer? That's, that's cool, man. That's real cool. Pull this thing along with an excavator, it's basically a one-man show. So this will help us get in quick, get the job done, make a decision, and hopefully make a deal on some ground. I think it's gonna help us a lot with prospecting, Dave. That's awesome, dude. I like it. I like it a lot. We've done a lot, but we got a lot to do still. Nathan wastes no time putting the final touches to the conveyor. You know, this will definitely give us a competitive edge, you know, to compare to the other people out there prospecting. You know, they go out there and with a piece of equipment, we come out here with a prospecting plant, mobile. They're going to see it and they're going to be like, damn, these guys know what's going on. With two expert mechanics, Juan and Nathan on board, Dave is back in the game. I'm hoping that everything else goes smoothly. We're going to push for it and see what happens. I think Nathan could be the difference between, you know, make or break right now. I got to start prospecting. Dave Turin's on a deadline to build a portable wash plant. To have it ready, mechanic Nathan has followed a lead on a second-hand trunk. Sweet mama Jimmy. All the welds are good and stuff like that. I mean, the sprocket actually looks you know, pretty decent shape, too. Does it move? Yeah, it moves. This is just what I'm looking for, some type of a little trauma, but it looks too long to me. What do you think? I, I, I think we can do it, Dave. There's only one way to find out. Let's get it in there, put it on there, see if those conveyors are going to work. Great, I'll pull the trailer out and get it set up on there. All right, OK. Cool. The good thing is it's structurally sound, but here's the tricky part. I had figured we were going to build a 10-foot trommel, but this trommel's about 12 feet long. The mini trommel can run 12 yards an hour and comes with a ready-made pre-wash box. Go ahead. But it's two feet longer than Dave had originally planned. I want more, Dave. What do you think? Is that going to work, Nate? 
gonna be close one. No. They were on the back edge of this. This is gonna be tight. Let's lift that conveyor and put it on here to see if it's all gonna fit on there. We're losing part of our pre-wash box. If you look, we're hitting all there already. With space on the trailer at a premium, Dave can't get the Trommel's pre-wash box to line up with his feed conveyor. We've got a 20-foot trailer. I've got a 10-foot conveyor. I wanted a 10-foot Trommel. Now we've got a 12-foot Trommel. We've got two feet that we've got to make up. I don't know what to do. Can we push this forward a little more? Here's we can always chair. adjust those legs further back. So even if we do stick out a little further here, yeah. I think that would be the best solution. What we're gonna do is take these jack stands off, build some new stands, move this back, and then we cheat a foot up there, and now we've made up for the two extra feet in this. And what that allows us to do is we're saving a lot of time because I don't have to rebuild all this. The crew will reposition the legs allowing the extra length of the trommel to hang over the trailer. Yeah. Nice. Up a little more. OK, now you can swing. Dave Turin is on the final day of his pioneering plant build. Good. Can you get that pin in? Pin's in. I like it, Dave. Let's just hope it works well. It looks good. Now, we're gonna find out if it actually runs. I hate to see her leave. That thing is so cool looking. Complete with a wet feed system, mini trauma, and tailing shoot. It looks like Mad Max. Dave's plant should allow him to prospect faster and more efficiently putting him ahead of his competition, if it works. So we're hooking up water. We're going to run a little bit of dirt and rocks through there. We don't have a lot of time. I'm happy it came together. Honestly, I was doubting that we were going to be able to get it done in time, but here it is. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to run it and see what it does. I'm hoping that it runs as good as it looks. OK, maiden voyage. Think it'll work? Find out. Oh, boy, there we got water. Let's put some rocks in there and see what happens. Let's go, Dave, let's go. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. First bucket. It's a future. I mean, this can help us get more gold. You know, this could be the difference in a successful season or not. You know, this isn't production, but it really makes a difference when we're gonna find ground. And this is gonna give us the edge. What okay. are you gonna name this thing? I like the beetle. We had the roach, right? It's a survivor. It eats what's left over. Well, the beetle's kind of the same thing. It's just smaller. I like the beetle. Yeah. I like it. The beetle is ready for the open road able to run 12 yards of dirt an hour and travel long distances, giving Dave an edge since he can test more ground faster than any other prospector. You know what? That's a lot of hard work, but you guys did a hell of a job. The welding looks good. Design works. Everything's working. Thank you so much, you guys. No problem, I appreciate it. Thank no you. No and if you guys need anything, let us know. We're always here to help, OK? Always. Thank you. Let's go find All some right, gold. Dave. Let's go get some gold. Yeah.